We're going to look at using the decimal format class to format decimals. So I'm calling this project formatting decimals, and that's what I'll call the class, formatting decimals. I'll take the three public static void main string args, do a little documentation here at the start. Once again, we're going to learn how to use the decimal format class. And remember, the args in string args can actually be anything. I'll call it Frosted Flakes. But not going to use Frosted Flakes in this program. I'm going to talk about pizza. You can use whatever you like. Here's an integer variable with the total number of pizza slices that you have consumed in one year. Here's a final int, weeks in year. There are 52 weeks in a year. And then a double, we're going to find the average number of pizza slices you've had per week by taking the total pizza slices and dividing them by the number of weeks in a year. Now we're going to create a decimal format object. So we'll start with decimal format. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it DF, short for decimal format, equals new decimal format. And I'll set it up. I'm going to use some pound symbols four pound symbols followed by a decimal point and two more pound symbols. You can tell from the red squiggly line we need to import something and there it is from java.text.decimalformat. You can leave it on the top or do what I did, move it a little closer to the start of the class. Those pound symbols all stand for digits. We'll see that coming up soon. We're going to get some input from users so we'll need a scanner object. I'll call it keyboard. And we'll also have to do some importing here. Time to get some pizza information from our users. So I'll ask them, how many pizza slices did they have in one year? We'll put that into our integer variable, total pizza slices. Using keyboard.nextint. Well, we now know how many pizza slices they had. We can do some calculating. We'll put the pizza slices per week in a variable called pizza slices per week. And again, we Figure this by dividing total pizza slices by weeks in year. But I've got to do a little thinking here. Both total pizza slices and weeks in year are integers. And when we divide two integers in Java, we're going to get an integer answer. We want a double type of an answer, so I'm going to cast one of those variables as a double. And we'll display the results. And here's where we're going to be able to use the decimal format, which we have called one DF right now. So first, a little string prompt. The average number of pizza slices that you've had per week. And now we'll display using our decimal format DF dot format. Format is a method in a decimal format object. So we'll use df.format, and then inside parentheses, we'll put what it is we want to format. In this case, it's pizza slices per week. Again, df.format, and then in parentheses, what it is we want to format. Let's see what happens. Going with 100 pizza slices, the average is 1.92. That's rounded to two decimal places. Again, each of the pound symbols serves as a digit placeholder. With 6,000 slices, that's 115.38 slices per week. Wow, that's a lot. 
The average is 4,980.29 slices per week. No comma. If you want a comma, go ahead and put one in. Let's check it out again. Now there's a comma in our decimal format. Let's change the number of weeks in a year to 50. A little easier to divide and to see what happens. So if we eat 200 slices, that's four slices per week. Notice that the four only showed up in the one spot. When we have pound symbols, they represent digits. But if the digit is zero, it will be absent. It will not display in a pound symbol. If you want to have a zero display, if there's going to be a zero, you have to put it in the format. So now there is 4.0 displayed because we have a zero in the tenth spot. When we add a zero to the hundredth spot, that means if the hundredth spot is a zero, it will display. And there it is. So again, the pound symbols are placeholders for digits, but if those digits are zero, they will be absent in the display. Here I'll put two zeros in, one in the tens place, one in the ones place, and I'll eat 200 slices of pizza per year and get zero four because there is a zero in the tens spot, so it does appear. If we eat more than what was ready in the decimal format, it just adds further to the left. We can also put this in one line. So I can have average slices as a string literal and then use the plus sign to concatenate the strings and then put df.format pizza slices per week. So it can all be on one line instead of two lines of code. This will look pretty similar to what the first one was, I'm just showing you that you can code it all in one line. There we are. We'll change the number of weeks in a year back to 52. So again, the pound symbols are placeholders for digits. However, if a digit is zero, it will be absent. If you want a zero to show up, put it in. Now we're going to make another decimal format. I'll call it money F because we're going to do some stuff with currency here. Here's the string. Notice that the actual format itself is in quotation marks as a string. I'll put a dollar sign in there, followed by three pound signs and a decimal point and two zeros because I want two decimal places to show up when it's dealing with money. So let's display some money. We'll have the cost of the waffles is, then we'll put money F, which is the name of our decimal format, dot format, and then in parentheses, what it is we want to format. I'll actually put a number in this time. Of course, it could be a variable. I'll put 81.45. We could also have a double variable that equals 81.45. And we'll check out the waffles. And there it is at $81.45, just as we would expect it to look. If I take the 5 out of the 100th spot, so it's just 81.4, the display is $81.40. A zero is put in because I have a zero for the digit placeholder instead of a pound symbol. That guarantees that if there should be a zero there, it will display a zero. So if I take all the decimal parts out and just have $81, we still get 81.00. If I put a lot of money in there, that's a lot of waffles. Still have the point zero, 00. There was no comma in my format, so no comma showed up. If we want commas, we can put them in. How about if we use a value that's less than one? So some inexpensive, hopefully still good tasting waffles for 75 cents. 
there's a dollar sign, 0.75. The ones spot had a zero, but because there was a pound sign there, no zero appeared. If I want a zero to appear, I need to put a zero into my decimal format. And now the dollar sign is followed by 0 0.75. Just to show you that if we go beyond the number of spaces in our decimal format, it will round. That's how we got 0.76 for 76 cents. Decimal formats are very handy. They can be used here in console applications and also in J option panes.